Are you interested at picking up the Apple Magic Keyboard for the iPad? Would you like to use it with the newly released Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro from Apple or just give your iPad a laptop feel? Let's see how the Magic Keyboard has held up after two years of use on my iPad Pro. Did my Apple Magic Keyboard I bought in May of 2021 hold up over the last two years? I know the answer to that question, but you can judge for yourself by the footage on today's video. You can see from the pictures and videos that the Magic Keyboard looks like it's in pretty good condition. Of course this keyboard case can get smudges and things like that, but this really isn't a big deal compared to the overall experience this keyboard presents. I usually clean the keyboard every one to two months. Typically I'll get a wet wipe and clean it. There are not any stains on my Magic Keyboard after two years and this may be due to how I use it. Overall, I'm not careful with the keyboard case, but I do keep the iPad in a Pataka MagEasy Case 2 and the Magic Keyboard in my confiable sleeve. I'll leave links to these products and their review videos in my video description. Every day I use my iPad in my office with my iMac and I also take it to my gym to help track my workouts. And, you know, if I want to go outside, I can relax on the deck also while typing up notes for a project. Sometimes I grab just the Magic Keyboard, but most of the time I put it in the confiable sleeve because it's just an easy carry and it protects it. The main thing I've avoided the last two years is placing the Magic Keyboard on a rough surface that would damage it. If there is a rough surface, I'll place the Magic Keyboard on my confiable sleeve and just type away. There's no doubt this has helped the durability of the Magic Keyboard some over the last couple years. Function-wise, the keyboard works great. It has a satisfying click and feel when you type on the Magic Keyboard, which works the same today as it did day one. The keyboard's backlight function works great as it automatically turns on. Opening and closing the keyboard case also works the same. The spring that helps open and hold the iPad at your favorite viewing angle works great. It still has that same sturdiness and snap it did the first day I received it. The magnet on the back of the Magic Keyboard where the iPad attaches is very strong. I'm glad to report I've had zero accidents with my iPad the last two years. As you have seen, my Magic Keyboard still looks good two years later. If you don't know about all the features of the Magic Keyboard, here's a quick summary of the features that come with this fairly expensive iPad accessory. The 12.9 inch model is, originally it was $349 and the 11 inch model was $299. But I have seen recently on Amazon, uh, basically the 12.9 inch model for $299 and $249 for the 11 inch model. See my video description for links to the Magic Keyboards here if you're interested in the uh, products. Also backlit keys with quiet responsive typing is a nice feature that you can tell from my footage today how the keys are just backlit when the iPad's connected to it. The cursor works with iPad OS now that's been there for a few years now and the trackpad on the keyboard works with multi-touch gestures so if you're used to Apple's trackpad functionality it works very similar. There's also a floating design that helps with just great viewing angles. So it just gives you different options if you need it tilted up or back, depending on what angle you need at that time. There's a USB-C port for charging your iPad on the Magic Keyboard. This is great because it frees up your main port on your iPad that you can use for accessories. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it does charge the iPad, like I mentioned, but it's not gonna charge as fast as directly plugging into your iPad. It also, you can obviously fold the keyboard down where it provides front and back protection for your iPad when it's in a bag or wherever it may be. And you can also use an external monitor for your iPad if you have the latest version of iPad OS. This isn't really a magic keyboard feature, but I'm mentioning it because this keyboard really enhances this experience and it's really just another reason that makes my iPad Pro my go-to device. Now let's look at what I like or don't like about Apple's Magic Keyboard after two years. 
I like to be positive, so let's start with the likes first. So for the likes, it completely transforms my iPad experience. It really gives the iPad a laptop feel, but you still have the freedom to use it like a tablet. Universal control, this really isn't a keyboard feature, but what it does, I use my iPad and iMac every day together with this. So sometimes I use my Magic Keyboard to control both devices, and sometimes I use my iMac keyboard and mouse, so it really just depends on the situation. The Magic Keyboard has made this workflow extremely useful as a tool in my workflow and just daily activity. The Magic Keyboard has really made my iPad Pro my main device now. So I, yes, I use my iMac, but it's more for editing and things like that. But my main go-to every day for most activities is my iPad now. So far, I've had no issues with durability. I do keep it in a sleeve when I'm on the go. Um, but it's held up pretty well over two years. I enjoy writing on the iPad and brainstorming in the Freeform app and then just putting the iPad when I'm done on the Magic Keyboard and start typing an email instantly. The versatility here works great. We are talking about a keyboard here, so how does it type? I absolutely love the typing experience on the keyboard, so there's no complaints there with me. I really enjoy it. Also nice is the backlit keys. It really helps taking this iPad anywhere and the keys are never too bright. So it's just a nice touch and a nice feature. The trackpad overall is still really good for the size of it. It's not great in my opinion, but it's still really good and you can do all the gestures you need to. The extra USB-C port is nice to clear up space for the adapters. That's really a nice touch and needed in my workflow. And as mentioned before, it really helps the external monitor support experience for the iPad. This can come into play in many factors. One I'm really looking forward to is seeing how it changes with the new Final Cut Pro or Logic Pro experience on the iPad. So let's look at what I don't like about it. Of course, price is going to be everybody's number one. Uh, it could be too high for some, but it is worth it in my opinion because it's just a very useful accessory. The USB-C option, it charges fine, but I would like it to charge faster like it's directly plugged into the iPad. And it would be nice to have access to accessories through that USB-C option. Also, the keyboard, if possible, I would love to have function key row at the top of it. I'm okay without it, but... It would be really nice to have that if possible. Also, not it's not ideal to write on the iPad with a pencil when attached to the keyboard. So you do have to really kind of take it off to write on the iPad for notes and things like that. You can write, but it's just not a great angle. I'm pretty much nitpicking here, but I would like to see updates similar to this if they ever update the Magic Keyboard in the future. If you're looking for a way to transform your iPad experience and make it a bigger part of your workflow, this accessory is a no-brainer. Even if Apple introduces an updated Magic Keyboard in the future, the current models would be a steal at a cheaper price. I would highly recommend the Magic Keyboard after two years of use. If you want to replace, say, your laptop for normal use or just use Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro on the iPad, the Magic Keyboard will change the way you use an iPad. It's really great. If you enjoy my content, how about joining the community and subscribing to the channel? Please like my videos and click on that notification bell. Check out my video description for links to today's products and just some of my other videos that I've had previously. Have a great week and I'll see you later.